Bolton S. Vaughn. His website is www.transhumanistwager.com, and that's also the title of his award-winning book. Zoltan, I've got to say that I thoroughly enjoyed this hour with you. Um, you've opened up a, a can of possibilities that I'm sure a lot of our listeners haven't even thought about. But before we go, there is one, there is one scenario I would like to, I would like to uh, put to you. We have two people, let's say Dick and Jane, who have become transhumanists and they have been put into a computer and are now uh, avatars. What about their feelings? What about their emotions? What about their desires to have children? How would they, how would they have a family if they were avatars, would their children be born uh, within the computer community uh, in in virtual reality? How would this work? Well, I think the first thing is that the actual kind of complexity of their brains, of their minds, would probably be a thousand to a million times more than the human brain is. Mm -hmm. The thing is, there's a lot more computing powers than servers. So they might have much more extraordinary feelings than we have right now. They might have the sensibilities of something we can't even imagine. But as far as children, marrying, uh, some of the institutions that the human race considers fundamental and very beautiful, I'm not sure they're going to exist. We might not be coded for it anymore. We may not want to have children if you are an avatar. We may just want to be, uh, you know, dare I say, selfish uh, entities just floating around inside the machine. That's what it sounds like, you know, to hell with you. I'm part of this machine. I don't care about your world. I don't care about your species. I don't need to care. That, that, something seems very wrong about that. Or am I just too moral? Well, you know, and, no, no, I just, that, that is one of the, the dangers. In fact, that's one of the controversies of my book mm. is that it's a very egotistical point of view. But, you know, perhaps we'll adjust and perhaps some people will have digital avatar children. Maybe they'll figure out a way to continue the mammalian uh, ideas yeah. that are the, you know, the mammalian ideas in our DNA and, and have something beautiful like that and something very altruistic. It, it's hard to tell. Wow. Where can your book be bought, sold, hen? You know, the best place to get it is uh, on Amazon.com. Ah. Just type in the Transhumanist Wager. A lot of food for thought this hour, Zoltan. What is your final message in the to the Exo Nation around the world? We've got about a minute left. Well, you know, I would just say if your people, ha- if your uh, listeners haven't heard about transhumanism, take a look at my book. Uh, it's an exciting novel as it is, so you know, at least you'll have mm-hmm. a fun story. And you know, consider what science and technology can do in um, in your life. Uh, it can perhaps help. It can perhaps make us live longer. I know there's some dangers involved, as you pointed out in the show, but uh, there's also many, many positive things. And hopefully as a society, we can all move forward together and find a, a better world. Hey, Zoltan, I want to thank you so much for your time. I thoroughly enjoyed having you on the show, and I'd love to have the opportunity of bringing you back on to further discuss this fascinating topic in the future. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a nice night. Once again, Exxon Nation, if you'd like to find out more about Zoltan or the transhumanist um, method, I guess, or cult or group, www.transhumanistwager.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the Exxon continues from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Worldwide toll-free, 1-800-610-7035. Email exxon at exxonradiotv.com. On all social media sites, Exxon Radio TV, and our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. I don't know. I'd rather stay in this old body than instead of being floating around in a computer somewhere over the rainbow. I'll be back on the other side of this break. Don't go away. <laughs> 